work with JSON Web Tokens in Node.js, we need a package. So let's visit our package.json here. So in here we have JSON Web Token. This is the package that we are going to use to sign our, our token. So let's go back to our user controller. So in controllers, let's go back to our auth controller. So in controllers, auth controller, in here we need to import JSON Web Token. So we need to create an instance and we need to call it JWT and it's going to require JSON Web Token. Here it's supposed to be require. And so here we need JSON Web Token. And for us to work with JSON Web Token, we need to set a secret, a secret code in our .env file. So let's go to our .env file. I'm going to create another variable here and I'm going to call it JWT underscore. Okay, it has to be cap. So I'm going to call it JWT underscore SEC. So let's let's save our .env file. Let's go back to our controller. So in our controller, what we need to do, we need to create our token. So here, let's create our token. We're going to call it user token. So here we need to call the object that we just created on top, jwt.sign. And in here we need to put the, the parameters that we need to sign. So the first parameter that we need is an ID. So our ID is going to come from user dot, dot ID. We also need to sign our admin boolean and it's going to come from user dot is admin we also need to sign is agent and it's going to come from user dot is agent so for now these are the parameters that we are going to sign and we also need the secret that we just created in our .env file. So to access our variable, what we are going to do, we are going to use the .env syntax. So we need process.env dot. So here we need JWT, it's all, all caps, JWT secret and we need to set the time the period which the token is going to be effective okay so let's say for this token here we are going to say it's going to expire in 21 days and here it has to be a string so let's just say 21 days so after each and every 21 days, this token will be, will be refreshed. So let's save here. And down here, we need to return our, our token. So let's try to sign in and see whether our token, see whether we can, we can get back our token. So let's go back to Postman. In Postman, we already have our user, and this is what we are getting when we sign in to our user. If we log in, this is what we get. So if we try to log in now, we should get a, a token instead of this data. So now we are 
we are getting our token whenever we sign in. So our JSON web token is working fine. So let's go back to our, our VS code. In our VS code, you can do both if you want to return a token and be and this others. So you can just wrap it in braces and here you can just say others. So you will get the data from these others and you get your token. So let's go back to our postman. In our postman, we need to log in again. So if we log in, we'll get this information and we we'll get our user token down here. So we are going to leave our format like this, but you have the option. If you just want to return a user token without the data, you can, you can do that also. So this is all for our JSON web tokens for now. So we are also going to use this JWT to verify users. So we might need to create, we are going to use it in our middleware here. When a user signs in, we need to verify the token. So we will put the code in verify token middleware. And we are going to use it a little bit later when we are calling our functions. So we are done with our, our auth controller. So next we are going to be working on our user controller.